The state budget deficit is also affecting how much Pennsylvania can give to its state-owned universities. The chancellor of the system is proposing a review that could lead to some big changes to keep schools afloat. Money editor John Delano has the details new at 6. The way we've always done things simply isn't good enough anymore. Change. Chancellor Frank Brogan, who oversees state universities, announced a sweeping review of Pennsylvania's public higher education system that could lead to the closing or merger of one or more of five area schools, California, Clarion, Edinburgh, Indiana, and Slippery Rock. We're facing several consistent challenges. One is a decline in enrollment, generally speaking. Uh, we see that as a direct result of the baby boom echo and the fact that there are just less college-age students. Just when the state legislature cut back state funding, student enrollment dropped more than 10 percent. In this region, California is down nearly 1,900 students, Clarion down 2,100, Edinburgh down 2,500, and Indiana down 2,300. Only Slippery Rock has held its own with no student losses. And competition is keen, says college counselor Megan Colt. Now you have to have the lazy river, you have to have the climbing wall, um, dining services have to have, you know, your sushi bar. So they're competing against a lot of private schools that have all the bells and whistles. Private schools offer more scholarships to even the cost, while community colleges cut the state school price in half. In their strategic review, board chair Cynthia Shapira says everything is on the table, but... Any conclusions whatsoever uh, are completely premature. John Delano, KDKA TV News.